If you plan on hunting New England, you better hope to uh, eat the element. I mean, there's nothing you can do to get around it. You look out across the bay and you see water. Just the sheer cold that we have up here, it's just something you can't get away from. So no matter how you look at it, you're gonna have to deal with it. Or, well, like most guys, they stay home. But not us, we like, we like playing in it. When those birds are lifting up and seeing what's in the spread, that raft shows dimension versus straight lines. And I think that helps dramatically because when those birds do lift up, they're looking for something wrong. But where they're settled in on that raft, it looks just so comfortable. And you can see by every bird this morning that just went right to it every time. about everybody that comes for a hunt with me is typically looking for that bucket list lighter, for sure. The lighter itself is between five and seven pounds. It's enormous. I mean, when you're seeing a bird come across the bay, you can tell right away that it's a beautiful tree. What separates us from the rest is just being that determined to eat the element. Going out like this morning, 12 degrees and blowing 20, we still went. Where guys are like, yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna maybe go get breakfast instead or sleep in. Uh, that determination to go chase, you know, a limit of eiders or just get the chance at brant or something that you've never seen before or just have the birds work the decoys. Maybe they do it that day just the way you want them to and it all comes together.